around six months ago, I compared the $100 Freud dado stack to the $50 Admiral Harbor Freight dado stack. I'll link that video in the description in case you want to go back and watch it if you hadn't seen it yet. In this video, I'm going to give you my opinion on the Freud dado stack since I've been using it now for about six months. Oh, and sorry if the cicadas show up on this audio. They are ridiculously loud and I didn't want to wait to film it. Plus, it's really sweltering hot out here. But anyways, let's get on to the dado stack. Let's start things off with what I did not like about the Freud set. The packaging sucks. It is designed where you either have to take everything out or you're constantly flipping back and forth, taking stuff out as you need them. And it's all held in by a screw, like a little knob on each side. So that's not efficient and it's annoying. I found it annoying. This is all my opinion again, but I did not think the packaging was the best. Whereas the Harbor Freight, it comes in a nice little box. The box is held up great. It holds everything nice and neat. I like it. Now I know this is an easy solution. I could just make a box for my Freud and I probably will. I'm gonna design one that there are some aspects about this design I do like and I'll get to that later, but that is something I'm gonna do. If if you'd like to see a video on me making a box for Tato blades, go ahead and shoot me a comment and let me know. Next thing I'm not really crazy about is you've got to use for a lot of adjustments the chipper blades with shims and micro shims. So there's like three in this one, whereas the Harbor Freight, you only have chipper blades, but they come, you have one sixteenth and the rest are eighth inch. So you can get a wide variety of cuts without using any of your micro shims that I've I haven't hardly yet used micro shims with the Harbor Freight at all. And the, the Freud is basically designed where you have to use them for certain cuts. So I thought that was kind of weird, but it, it's not a big deal. And this one was really surprising. And I talked about it on the first video I did. And that was when these blades were brand new and these were old. And they're still old. As a matter of fact, I let my friend borrow these for the last few months. So he's used them. The tear out. <laughs> these tear out more than the Harbor Freight. I don't care what any of y'all say. I'm, I've used it on multiple different materials. These tear out more and I don't know why. And I'm a Freud fan. I swear by Freud blades. That's all I use in my 10 inch um, saw is Freud blades. I have multiple blades. I get them resharpened. I like them. So I don't know what the deal is with the tear out and these, but that is kind of annoying. And finally, this one's, this one's a little superficial, I guess, but the instructions, the instructions on the Freud suck. I mean, they give you this stupid little flimsy cardboard thing that's literally screwed to it with the knobs. And my, it's already getting worn out because it's on the outside, it's not protected. Whereas the Harbor Freight, a little booklet that goes inside the nice neat box, still looks brand new and I can still use it. And it's way bigger writing. You can, you know, we are getting older. Well, some of us are getting older. And the writing's easier to read, whereas on this car cardboard thing, you got to open it up and put it in, look in the back, and it's tiny little writing for the instructions and all that, because some people might want instructions. They may not know how to use a dado blade, maybe it's the first time, haven't watched any videos, I don't know, but they should be readable in a nice book, and I can't believe they cheaped out on that. $100. You should give a nice little book. But again, just my opinion. <laughs> All right, well, there were things I liked about the blade, so why don't we go over those now? I really like how much thicker the carbide is. This will allow way more sharpenings in the future, and you'll be able to use the blades a lot longer. This will be really good for somebody that uses it all the time. You know, like you're, this is your job, you're cutting dados daily. Um, you probably want the thicker carbide. I think it would help you. So. I talked about the storage case and what I didn't like about it, which is most of it, but there is one thing I like about it. I like how I can hang it on my workbench. I have to position everything, as some of y'all know, in my garage that I share with the car, and I always position my workbench next to my saw, kind of making it in like an L shape. Well, these hang very, very nice on my workbench, right there by my saw, 
where ends the Harbor Freight. I put on the shelf or store them somewhere. So I got to take two or three steps to go get them. So it is a little bit more convenient in that respect. And in one way, I like that the blades are thicker. They're more durable, it seems like. Probably not going to warp as much. Now, this does seem to bog down my saw a little more. I have the Delta 36 725 10-inch saw, table saws. It's, it's just a contractor saw, so it's not like a commercial saw. I forget what the horsepower is on it, but it's the T1. It's the one before the T2 that they sell now. Anyways, great saw. Not here for the saw, though. It does seem to bog it down a little more, and I think it's the weight of the blades are heavier, but it's never caused an issue. My final thought on this set is it's a quality set of Dado blades. No doubt about it. Overall, they're good. But if you're a hobbyist and you don't want to spend a lot of money, not even sure how often you're going to use them, the Harbor Freight set is just fine. Don't be afraid to buy them. They're great. I'm I still use them. My friend's been using them. They're fine. Don't let anybody tell you. There's a lot of good Harbor Freight stuff out there. I know. Somebody will probably leave a comment on it. But hey, it is what it is in my opinion. So what are the cost of these? Right now, when I was filming this, you can get the Freud set on Amazon for $95.99. I'll link it in the description if you want a quick link. Go for it. Or you can get the Bauer Harbor Freight set for $59.99, savings about $36. Bucks. I do not have the Bauer. The Bauer, I think, is an upgraded brand in the Harbor Freight line. I did not see the Admiral offered anymore online, at least in my area. So the I don't know anything about the Bauer, but I'm assuming if the Admiral were as good as they are, I'm sure the Bauer are even better. So it's up to you. Either way you go, I think you're good to go. I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to hit the like if you like the video and leave me a comment. I'll see y'all later. Whereas like the Harbor Freight comes in this. <laughs> Whoops. Take two on that one, Andy.